I brought you something. Oh, what's this? Morning mojito. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of vitamins in though. Ooh. <laughs> nice, refreshing. You're lucky I've drunk half of mine up at the house and I realised at that point I hadn't actually put any sweetness in it. Oh, it tastes good. Yeah, we need all the vitamins that we can get at the moment because this past week we've been really, not very well, very under the weather. Over a week now, I mean, I don't think we've filmed or done anything in the building in about two weeks. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. very poorly. <laughs> Victoria had just like a routine doctor's appointment and I'm pretty sure you picked up the lurgy off someone there yeah. and then you gave it to me. Probably, with love. Too much of this. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Not really sure how much we'll actually get done this week, but the weather's nice and we're both a bit fed up of just being inside and festering. So we want to get out and get on. And if you haven't already guessed, this week we are carrying on where we left you last week. So previously I was rebuilding under this window with stone, so that still needs finishing off. Right now I'm trying to see what's underneath the right hand window. The concrete's come off much easier on this side for the most part. However, it's much worse than it was on the left. So I don't think we'll be keeping any of this apart from kind of a big stone down here. So it's a bit of a shame that we can't keep any of that stonework. However, it's gonna make the demolition job much easier. There we go, one fresh hole made to order. It was actually a little bit easier going this time than the last one was. I think mainly because I just went straight in with the bigger SDS drill that we have. Whereas last time I was using the small, less powerful one because I was just a bit nervous and going a bit cautiously, let's say, whereas this time I've just kind of gone in. All guns blazing because I know what to expect. So yeah, that's down. Still need to do a bit of chipping on the inside like I did on the previous window to kind of remove some of that concrete to allow the stones to integrate when we fit them in there. There's also a lot of clearing up to do, but that's gonna wait until tomorrow because as you can probably hear, I'm very bunged up, feeling very tired. My back's hurting, my hand's hurting, so time for a rest and back at it tomorrow. Hey up. Hello. <laughs> Hello buddy. How you feeling? All right, how yeah. about you? Exhausted. What have you been up to? Nothing too strenuous, just computer bits. I did wash your hat though. Oh nice, where is it? Drying. Let me get it. <laughs> <It's> oh, <not laughs> good as new. <laughs> if only that were true. I was worried when I was doing it that it was just going to completely fall apart because I'm pretty sure it was just sort of dust and grime holding it together, Ricky. <laughs> Definitely better than it was, but this is the original colour. I have got other hats. However, this one fits just right. And I mean, it's filthy, so it's a good one for working in. The amount of sweat I must have put into this is pretty horrible when I think about it. Yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> it was a situation I was going to wash it and it was either going to live to tell another tale or it was going straight in the bin. Well, yeah. it lives to fight another day. I think this will be the last uh, run it has though. I just had to run down to the tiny house to get some camera batteries that I left down there earlier on. And coming back up, I just wanted to grab the camera. Hopefully you can hear the noise of the insects, the frogs, the bird calls at this time of year. The nighttime really does come alive. And yeah, living somewhere so rural, this is probably about as rowdy as the nightlife gets.
my cold. I lost a fair bit of my sense of smell, but it's definitely coming back happily because this morning I noticed just how strongly our orange blossom is smelling. We get orange blossom a couple of times a year and it is hands down one of my favorite smells. I don't think Ricky's quite so keen, maybe a little bit too floral for his taste, but I absolutely love it. One thing I didn't realise about orange trees before actually being here was that they're very clever trees and they can have the fruit that's ready to eat and little green immature fruit as well as having blossom on all at the same time and I don't know if it's just me but I found that quite impressive. <laughs> That little orange tree is just behind where the veg garden is now but as it stands at the minute we haven't actually got any water set up or any irrigation to the veg patch so we want to move the IBC from the original place we put it beside the greenhouse and bring it over to where I'm stood now which is on the first terrace just above where the veg patch is. This is the area that we want to put the IBC in but at the moment it is completely overgrown with brambles. As is usual when you're using the strummer it has turned into a hot sweaty but overall quite satisfying experience. It's the first time I've actually used the mulcher blade on the strummer and it's definitely a bit lively, a bit more so than the nylon I'm used to but it has made really light work of this pretty large area of brambles. Well, that was one filthy way to start the day, but all that work I couldn't get done yesterday is now finished, and this is now ready for some new stonework to go down. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Also, one thing I just noticed, a fresh snake skin making its way into the wall. So somewhere inside is a cold-blooded little friend. Progress is slow today. I'm kind of running out of the stones that we got before. There's plenty of stones still here actually, but none of them are really 
fitting where I need to fit. So I'm having to drop tools, run around the land to try and find a stone that fits, bring it back, then it's, oh, it doesn't quite fit. Try and, you know, break it down a bit. And it's just, yeah, a bit of a slow, process but we're getting there slowly but surely so whilst i was editing last week's video which is where we we're breaking out underneath this first left hand side window never actually explained why we've left some of the concrete right underneath the window so it's because this is actually fixed into this frame it's going to be really hard to get that out without possibly breaking the window damaging the frame we're actually going to be pouring kind of a chunky windowsill in there so i just kind of need to build this stone up to kind of around that point then when we get around to doing the sill we'll take the windows out so that last bit of concrete and the window will come out when we get around to pouring the new windowsill but for the time being we're just keeping it in because it's keeping the rain out and it's protecting the inside from the elements So after I finished mulching, I cleared away all of the broken down brambles and you can finally see that there's actually a lovely stone wall here now. So after all that time of it being completely engulfed, it's now revealed in all its glory. There was also a lot of stuff that was propped against that wall, including some really old tools, an old door, a few uh, granite posts, which were a bit tricky to move, but that space is completely empty now and ready for the IB. How much easier is it using the new wheelbarrow <laughs> compared to that old rusty one? Yeah, the problem is now I can fill up a lot more, so coming down the slope, nearly taking me away. Oh, is it getting away from you? Yeah. 102 by 130. surprises. Two freshly woken up dogs from their nap and one taking a bowl. Thank you. Ped? Hey, Bicky? Poppy? That was a big one. There you go. Good girl. Should we just leave this as a bench? Mm. Quite a nice spot. <laughs> oh. So that's the IBC in place and level. And just to clarify, the reason we're doing this, even though we're quite close to the big 30,000 litre tank we have, is that we want to be able to monitor how much water we're actually using in this garden. And if we rig the garden tap straight up to that big tank, we're not going to be able to really see very clearly how much water we're actually getting through in the garden. Whereas here, we can fill it up a thousand litres at a time, so a thousand litres. Okay, if we fill up a thousand litres at a time, we can monitor pretty easily how long it's been since we filled that up and then obviously just refill it as and when we need to. Maybe one day we'll fix it up to the big tank once we really know how much it's going to get through.
looks like you've made a little sign for a visitor centre. <laughs> Cafe, this way. Bit of a bump in the road. So this is the fitting that our tap's gonna go into. We're just trying at the moment to get this as kind of roughly put together as possible, just to see what the pressure is gonna be like. And then once we know it all works with the drip irrigation that we're gonna get, then we can get a proper setup with like elbows and everything else and do it properly. But I thought I could make it work with what we have. Didn't think about the fact that that needs to sit flush to the wall and this fitting is in the way. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go and try and find something just to pad it out. This is the winning angle. That is a very strong pipe. That's a very strong boy. <laughs> That's what the vein throbbing on your neck suggests. <laughs> Glad you said neck. Yeah, this definitely needs my elbows and things are so much pressure on this, but all in good time. Right, should we give her a test drive? Yeah, I'm gonna stay well back though. Okay. Well, uh, there's a few leaks, but nothing a bit of tape won't be able to fix with that. Hopefully. Now for the pressure. Oh, that's decent. Not bad. She's got a good flow. Nice. Good morning. I am back rebuilding today with stone. I actually came out uh, day before yesterday and started underneath the right hand window and I've probably done somewhere between about a third and a half of it. To be honest, I didn't film anything apart from just the progress because I was feeling a bit worse for wear and yeah, my progress was a little bit slow because we gathered a load of stones the last time we were working on this and although we've got some left, we're kind of getting into ones with peculiar shapes and it's just lots of things where I'm having to break everything down. Plus add the fact that I've been feeling a little bit under the weather into the mix and it's no surprise it's been slow. Although my energy levels aren't 100%, feeling a bit more up for it today so we'll see how far we can get. To try and save myself some time, I'm gonna go around on some of the terraced walls that we've got, and I'm just gonna skim off some of the top ones that we're not really gonna notice if they're missing, because on some of these walls, they've got beautiful faces, although the stones are really filthy and they need a bit of a clean. hoping that this big heavy stone is going to fit in because when you use the big ones it just looks so much better but it is very heavy I think once I get it in it's going to be pretty hard for me to kind of negotiate it and try and maneuver it around also although I've measured it and I can kind of roughly know that it fits the dimensions with so many strange shapes in there with all the different stones you never really know until it's in Please fit, please fit. Oh, oh that'll do. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so as you can probably see, it's fits, but it's leaning forward. So what you have to do is get kind of some smaller stones to get in underneath, push it back to bring the 
face nice and flush with the other stones, get some mortar packet in, maybe put some other stones in, job done. Beautiful. Smaller ones for in there. Nice. Your Highness, what's the verdict? <laughs> I think it looks very good. It was definitely, definitely well worth getting rid of all that concrete. Although I suppose that's quite easy for me to say soon as I didn't have to break my back doing it all. <laughs> oh dear, Poppy's digging again. She's got half a body down a hole. Uh, I'm all out of mortar as well, so I'm gonna knock it on the head for today. Probably a good thing as well, because I am absolutely pooped. <laughs> yeah, not managed to get as much done as I would like to, but you know, considering the circumstances, quite happy with it. And I think the client will be okay with it, because I hear she's got the hots for me. <laughs> oh, I hate your sunglasses. Smooth operator. <laughs>